me out to the ball game. Let's sing it. Take me out to the crowd. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I, I'm all pumped up over the Caps game last night. Well, we got to talk about that too. They look like Stanley Cup champions. Oh my gosh! What was seven to one oh, against the Panthers? It was huge. But 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 no. But no. Baseball is what gets people pumped. That's right, right. And we thought, why not? It's springtime when a man's fan- fancy turns to thoughts of baseball, and we thought it'd be time to have Brian McNally on to talk about how the the Caps are doing. Also talk about the the Washington Nationals. Uh, he's of course uh, the the beat reporter for the Washington Examiner. Hey Brian, how are you? Hey guys, how's it going? You know, I just noticed we have a lot of Brian's on the show today. Yeah, okay. We got Brian McNally, we got Brian Frost coming up later. Well, listen, let's talk about uh, about uh, the Nationals first. Then we'll get to the Caps in a minute. How are those Nationals looking right now? Well, I think you, you throw results out the window in spring training. It's uh, <clears throat> uh, from from experience, haven't been down there. It's a long six weeks for those guys. Um, you know, a lot of the veterans are just kind of trying to to get work their way into shape, and and it's not something that uh, <clears throat> they concern themselves very much with with wins and losses at this point. You're seeing a lot of minor leaguers and a lot of guys just trying to to make names for themselves early. Uh, so you know. Kind of easing their way in, I guess, is uh, is the best way to say it. And uh, you know, later on in spring training, they'll they'll start to turn a little bit more serious. But but, but meanwhile, Bryce Harper apparently is playing a new position uh, uh, during spring training. What's that all about? Yeah, he should uh, he should be the left fielder full time this year. They made the trade for Denard Span from the Minnesota Twins in December. That's a big deal for them because they kind of had to play. Uh, play Harper in center last year and and he can do it he's athletic enough to pull that off but you know it wasn't an ideal fit necessarily uh Jason Worth obviously their veteran outfielder uh another guy who had to play some time in center and that's not on his uh older legs you don't really want to uh, <laughs> want to do that as much so you know they went out got themselves a, a legitimate center fielder a guy who's played that position his entire life and that let them move uh move Harper to left as the as the junior member I guess of the outfield and Worth got to uh, to keep his spot. In and right. has has he taken the left? No problem. It's going to be a seamless transition. Yeah, it, it really shouldn't. I mean, the angles are a little bit different, but um, you know, I I don't think it'll be much of an adjustment for him. Uh, so now, uh, talk to me about the World Baseball Classic. They do this. What is it? Every four years? Every three years? They're doing this now. Yeah, every four years they do this uh, this tournament. It's a way for uh, for baseball to kind of uh, spread the sport, I guess. Uh, you know, to places it's not necessarily. Uh, Played in and, sure. um, and you know, te- Team USA starts today. They're playing against uh, Team Mexico, uh, and this is going to go for the next couple of weeks. How, how does Skipper Davy Johnson feel about donating two of his pitchers to yeah, the cause? No, I can't imagine he feels too good about that. That's uh, it's the one thing that while the the executives and the people uh, high up in Major League Baseball want this and, and like it as a promotional vehicle for the sport, the people who actually supply the players are you know just nervous wrecks for a couple weeks. And uh, especially if you have, you know, the most injury-prone guys in this tournament are going to be the starting pitchers. They're the guys that are, are usually this time of year just slowly working their way into shape. Now you're throwing them into a, a playoff-style tournament uh, where the intensity is up, so, you know, especially when you play games in Latin America or games in, uh, in Asia where the crowds are really into it. Uh, and, that, and that's going to be, you know, a concern for them. Gio yeah. Gonzalez uh, should start. Ross Detweiler should start for Team USA. That's two fifths of the natural yeah. that's wow. out there, and uh, you know that they're going to have to worry about and, and hope that they come through healthy and, and intact for the season. You know, Brian McNally. I, I just really quickly, uh, Joe Torre is going to be the field manager for the Team USA, and I saw you know he when he was a manager for a major league team, he hated this thing, and then I saw him at the press conference yesterday. He looked like he was uh, you know uh, on a hostage tape or something. He did not feel completely uh, uh, at ease. <laughs> Praising Team USA, considering he knows how much the other managers hate it. I think the one good thing is he does have uh, tons of experience in, in like All Star Game type formats. He knows, you know, what he needs to do to keep guys healthy and, uh, you know, not overwork anybody. There are rules in place to make sure. I think Gio Gonzalez, when he starts, you know, I think will be limited to like 50 pitches or something like good. that. So uh, you're not going to overuse uh, overuse some of these guys, which is yeah, we uh, want those a innings. small measure of. of uh, <laughs> Hope there. Let's turn to the the Capitals because I happened to see a little bit of the game last night, and I mean they were totally thrashing the Panthers. I mean, what, the final score seven one. Uh, yeah, the Panthers have a rookie goalie named Jacob Markstrom, who's one of the the top prospects in the world. He stunk last night. That's no other way to say that. He basically gifted the Caps uh, two goals in the first three minutes. One of them was on a shot from the blue line by defenseman John Erskine. Uh, from that point on, I think you knew the Caps were pretty much uh, 
pretty much in control. They scored two more goals against the uh, the backup Scott Clemenson, and, and ten minutes in, it was four nothing, and the crowd was chanting for wings. You know, we want wings when they score the fifth goal and all that. So right. That was that was pretty much it, and it was it was a perfect night. They got to play three games in in four nights here. Um, yeah, two of them against New York teams coming up this weekend. So they got a chance to spread the ice time around a little bit, get other guys some playing time, and and rest their their big stars for uh, for this weekend. Well, and the important thing here in the New York games, uh, I mean, you know, the, the Caps had that horrible start, but because of this shortened season, you know, you look at the standings right now, they're not in the basement anymore. They've got 21 points. The Rangers are in that final playoff spot with 26 points. They could actually pull this out and make the playoffs, wow. couldn't they? Yeah, this is a huge stretch for them. They play the Islanders Saturday on the road. That's a that's another team that's kind of struggled that you would you would hope you could take care of business against. Then they get the Rangers at home on Sunday, and then they play back to back against the Carolina Hurricanes next week. Um, Carolina is in first place in the Southeast Division. In some ways, that might be their best bet to make the playoffs is is to catch the Hurricanes. So having uh, having two games again, they already beat them um, earlier this month or you know last month. Now they get two games against them coming up. You win those, you know, you win three of the next four, they're right back in the mix with, uh, you know, yeah. 22. Is it because it's gelling for them finally, this new plan, this new system they have in place? Uh, I think so. I think that all along the players and, and Coach Adam Oates thought it would take about, you know, around 20 games to kind of get a, a good feel for what he wanted to do where his, uh, his system would be more instinctual, like they could just play and not be thinking all the time and worrying if they were in position and all that. So. Yeah. Uh, they they knew that would be the case. Um, doesn't make it any less frustrating when you when you start out two eight and one and, and blow a bunch of third period no, leads. No. But uh, well, this this is a a good sign for them. You you wonder if it's uh, too little too late. But but I think uh, at least they're hopeful here going to the next uh, to the next ten. Again, days. it was all turned around when Ted Leonsis came on this show. And yeah, I that's think right. We, all right. That back. we we changed the whole yeah. course of the season. <laughs> Listen, Brian McNally, uh, he is the Capitals Nationals beat reporter for the Washington Examiner. We so appreciate you coming on. You know, you're kind of an extended family member now, Brian. So here, here's what I'm thinking: we're working on a promotion now where uh, Chris Plant, Brian Wilson, and I are going to dress up like the running presidents there over yeah. over at the, over at the park. Be... But we need a fourth president. Would you be willing to 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 run as uh, well? You want Teddy, right? I want Teddy. And we know that that I'm Washington, and we know Plant is Jefferson. So that pretty much leaves Sorry, Lincoln. You're, you're, you're sticking me with Taft. Is that is that? No, what I'm uh, doing? no, no, no. You could be Lincoln, I suppose. Oh, okay. I be Lincoln. All right. Well, Lincoln, Lincoln's tough. He's tall. I don't know how the guy. Uh, I don't know, actually, oh, maybe I, I should, should be Lincoln because I'm kind of tall and lanky. There you go. And a Midwesterner. All right, all right. You can have Jefferson. Are, uh, you, are you with us though? If we can swing this, will you run with the WMAL team? I think that would be a uh, dream come true. Uh, man, what would, would be for me? McNally's in. All right, thanks, man. Enjoy the World Baseball Classic today. You got. It.